hey guys welcome back to the channel now if you guys are unfamiliar with making trees and stuff like that and you want to make stylized trees or anime like trees this video is going to be perfect for you uh, as you can see these are the uh, types of trees you can uh, make with this method they are easily uh, adjustable as well as you can see so you can mess around with them uh, create a larger variety of what you need and then you can simply just create the a variety of tree stumps and then you can just copy and paste uh, these batches of leaves on top and then you get this uh, like fluffy kind of stylized look to your trees this method can also uh, help you make like a bowl shape which is often used in many different stylized games or like more of a messy look now all these can be achieved uh, through minor differences using the same method which I'm going to show you uh, but before we get, we get into that, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so because I upload content like this regularly. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the uh, method. Before we begin any kind of modeling, you want a texture. Now, if you're not familiar with any photo editing software or drawing software like Photoshop or, you know, Paint.net or anything like that, you can grab a texture of Google or do anything like that. As long as it's not copyrighted, you want to make sure it's not copyrighted, obviously. Now, what I'm going to show you is a way of editing uh, photos of Google to make them look more like flat colors, more like stylized to fit kind of like the, the Roblox kind of look. Now, these are obviously uh, quite detailed, but I'm going to take these and make them like more of a flat color so they fit the game. So you guys can go ahead and type in anything on Google, uh, you know, stylized leaves, uh, PNG is what, I'm, what I've typed in. Um, I recommend you make your own by the way this is a disclaimer I'm just doing this quickly for a video I usually use Photoshop and I draw my own um, or stuff like that or you know edit existing ones uh, completely so they look completely different but yeah let's get into the modeling process now now I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you guys have some form of knowledge in 3d modeling I'm using blender specifically you can use whatever software you want um, I'm gonna go ahead and add mesh a basic cylinder and I'm going to change it down to 8 vertices so we have that low poly look I'm just going to go ahead and drag it up go into wireframe mode by holding Z and dragging to the left selecting these vertices you can press 1 to select vertices uh, or click this button up here and then I'm just going to drag it up and then press S to scale to make it smaller so I'm just going to use this as my tree stump and then I'm going to hold shift and D just to duplicate to create some branches it's going to be very basic um, as I'm primarily showing you how to make the leaves as they're the more difficult part. However, I do have other videos that um, mention things to do with trees and how to model them. You can check out through my channel and you'll be able to find them. For now, I'm just going to copy and paste these cylinders just to create this basic tree look here. I'm pretty satisfied with this. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make the leaves. Now, when I use a texture of Google or something like that, if I actually go to use it in my games, I tend to change it up a little bit to add my own flair to it. Um, for something like this, I'm going to do something basic, which I do quite often is um, oh, we obviously have uh, Photoshop up and I drag my image in and I go to layer, layer style and blending options. And then I go for either gradient overlay or color overlay. Preferably gradient overlay because then it adds more of a shady look to it and then you can go to radial So it goes centered and then you can scale it up and maybe reverse it So it's darker on the outside or you probably want it lighter on the outside Like so you can obviously adjust the color here Do whatever colors you want now this section is going to be very basic It's probably not going to give me a good result, but you know for the sake of the video I'm not going to spend too much time on it I'm going to go ahead and save this out and go on to uh, modeling the leaves. Now, first things first with the leaves, I want to go ahead and add mesh and then plane. And now we're going to go into the shading tab and add a material to it. So I'm going to click new. I'm going to name it leaves and I'm going to click in here and then press shift a search and then image. And now we have our image texture here. And then you can open here and find your image that you saved earlier of your leaves. Once you've added your leaf texture in here, you want to just go ahead and drag it into base color. 
and as you can see you will have your texture here but obviously you have a black background which you do not really want so to fix this you want to go ahead and drag the alpha to alpha here and then uh, go to material properties here scroll down and then change blend mode from opaque to alpha blend and as you can see you now have a transparent background now to view your leaves in this uh, in their layout you want to go ahead and hold Z and go to material preview now obviously these are pretty flat leaves so to add a bit of detail to them you want to go into edit mode by pressing tab and then press ctrl R to add some loop cuts so now you can kind of deform these leaves so they have a little bit more uh, detail to them as you can see here like so sometimes the texture may be a little bit weird that's probably due to the uh, polygons or the vertices themselves but obviously you can mess around with them uh, get the look you want I'm going to keep it somewhat flat for now and that's pretty much it I'm going to show you how to create this kind of uh, circular look here just so you get that fluffy uh, circular look that you find in stylized games so let's go ahead and do that now real quick so to do that what I usually do is I'll move aside this uh, leaf texture and then I add mesh and then a sphere and I'll just move it up now what I do is I hold uh, left control and then press uh, R to rotate and X on the X axis and then 90 so now I can uh, somewhat have my leaf like this and now basically to uh, wrap these leaves around in a circular shape I just wrap them around the uh, the sphere so I'm gonna do that real quick and then uh, get back to you now a quick way to uh, wrap the leaves around the sphere so what I do is I'll uh, duplicate this by pressing shift D or control C control V and then press R to rotate Z to rotate on the Z axis and then 180 and now I have these leaves here and then I can do the same so shift D to select them when they're both selected R to rotate and then Z on the Z axis and then 90 and then I could just simply shift D and then just keep rotating them to create a bit of a interesting sphere shape that you want to keep and then if you want kind of uh, these odd strands of leaves you can obviously mess around with it and get the look that you want once you're satisfied with this look um obviously this look isn't that good for me as the texture is a little bit too square and too formal um so you're not going to get that kind of random look that typical the uh, typical like tree leaves have once you're done with that you want to delete the sphere in the center and then um select them and then press ctrl j so now they are joined so yeah let's go ahead and place them on top of this tree so you could just resize them like this I'm gonna go ahead and join this tree stump here real quick and then just bring the tree stump here and now you can kind of just add the leaves around and stuff like that now it doesn't look great here but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to import this chunk of leaves into studio by itself and then we can kind of go from there and make the trees in studio okay so either way uh, whatever it looks like in blender it doesn't really matter because it's gonna uh, look completely different in studio so once you're satisfied with your model you can just go file export fbx save it wherever you want and then we can hop into studio and import it okay so i've imported it into studio if you don't know how to import basically you go to view asset manager and then uh, click this little button here and then find your file and then a pop-up will appear just press ok and it'll import your mesh here and then it will appear down here so what you do is you double click this mesh and as you can see you will get 
um, this weird looking sphere shape that is not what you want at all so to fix this what you want to do is a few steps so we first want to add a surface appearance so you press plus type in surface appearance as you can see it will uh, remove that texture look you want to go ahead and click in color map find your texture uh, you press add image to find your texture I've already imported it so I'm going to click it here and we have uh, the texture appearing on the planes now we want to go ahead and change this alpha mode from overlay to transparency and then you have your look here obviously this texture isn't great so the result isn't isn't going to be good ideally you want uh, like gaps between your leaves but obviously uh, this texture is missing it which is the disadvantage of using random google images also you want to toggle on double sided just so you get more of a dense look to your leaves that's pretty much all there is to it when it comes to making these leaves um, obviously these are easy to adjust so if you want to change up your texture you can just click on surface appearance go to color map and then change it to whatever texture you want so let's say I want to use this texture it will instantly change it to a different texture if I would to use kind of like a pine leaf texture obviously it doesn't make sense with a like sphere shape but you get the idea now you want to grab your tree stump which presumably you would have modeled and then you can simply just uh, drag it on like this and then you can just mess around with sizes, uh, rotations, just to get a little bit of variation. As you can see, this is kind of the final look to the leaves. You can also use them as bushes if you want in the ground and all that kind of stuff. It all depends on what you want to do. As you can see, I have a variation here. Obviously, with better textures, you're going to get different results. And it all depends on uh, how much effort you put into it. But this is kind of the rough result you're going to get. It's, it's a, a lot of a stylized appearance, which people tend to love on this platform. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. This helped you guys out. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.